Hello and welcome to Hi, I'm Mallory and it's cloudy out but kind of bright out at the same time. I'm just saying this lighting might not be the greatest and this has been my background in a couple of videos. I'm not crazy about it, but it is what it is. What's funny is I'm a messy person. Like, I'm not the neatest human being on the planet. I'm someone where everything's, like, extremely tidy. I'm a little, like, ugh. And I have to have a slight mess to be, like, calm. And my mom's the opposite. Like, if there's a lot of clutter, it, like, gives, makes her, like, anxious. And she, like, has to clean everything up and put it all away. And I've been working on trying to become a more neat, clean, organized person. But I have like a slight little mess going on. I got like shoes and stuff around this chair and like that some clothes I have to put away. I just have like stuff, you know, because I film things in my room and then I'm like, I don't put it away. That's something I need to get in the habit of. Like whatever I take out, I have to put, put it back. But I need everything to like have a home. I have a system and it's down pat in my bathroom and that's been staying clean or the itch going <laughs> um yeah I'm I'm today is just one of those days where I'm really tired and lazy and I have to I have a doctor's appointment at two o'clock and I have to be ready to leave here at 1 30 and it's 12 40 and there's some things I need to check on downstairs, but instead of making a video, I'm very tired. Did I say that already? Yes. Um, yes, I just want to like, this can be kind of random, a random mix matched video. But, um, yesterday, was it? Um, went out to dinner with my, my, it was my, me, my mom, my dad. And then my brother and his family, and we went to a restaurant called Maggiano's, which, or Little Ma little Italy, Maggiano's, I don't know, anyways. <laughs> I don't know if every single state has that restaurant, but I know it's, because I've eaten in one, and I want to say Texas, was it? Um, or was it not Texas? I feel like it was Texas. I'm trying to remember, I know, like, there... So I know other states have them, I just don't know if every single state has And that's not the point, but anyways, it's an Italian restaurant, and it was like super uber busy, and I thought I was going to die, I started getting low blood sugar, and I, to the point where I was reaching in my handbag for a protein bar, and as I was digging around for one, finally the food came out, and it was in that moment I was like, I wish I could be a kid, because Liam and Hunter and James got their food first. <laughs> um, so we had dinner there, and then uh, it was just kind of a mess of a night, and that, like, the poor waiter, waitress, I should say, she was just, like, overtaxed. There was a big, big table behind us filled with people, and it wasn't supposed to be like that. Like, things just got messed up, and then, like, so, anyway, we felt really bad for her. <laughs> she was, like, so overwhelmed. Um, and my food wasn't that great, because with their traditional dishes, like, if you, you get to pick one to like take home with you and my mom's like weren't you supposed to get like another meal to go I said yes but I'm not complaining because I said honestly like half my pasta wasn't really fully cooked but I was about to like I, I didn't care at that point I ate it anyway um because it was like around seven o'clock I don't eat dinner that late usually so um it was just kind of, I mean, I don't know, being out of the house wasn't my favorite, but I got out. I guess that's just a good thing in the end. Um, then my mom and I went over to the Cheesecake Factory, and we got three cheesecakes. And oh my god. That Godiva, I get the gluten-free uh, Godiva chocolate cheesecake. Oh, that thing is so good. So we had that one, the traditional, like, cheesecake with strawberries on top and whipped cream. And then Hunter was talking about Oreo cookies. So we got an Oreo cookie cheesecake, and everyone was, like, sampling. I just had some of mine because it was gluten-free. Um, and that was fun, and we read a book, and we put them to bed, and... 
So, I mean, the evening was fun, uh, and, but yet I was just exhausted, and I don't sleep at night. I haven't slept. Like, I keep going to bed around, like, 4 or 5 in the morning all week, because there's just a lot on my mind, um, and, like, all day long, I'm just, like, a sloth, and a very sluggish, lethargic, and then, like, it's 10 o'clock at night, and all of a sudden, I'm just like, okay, party time, but not really, um, and then I'm just, like, up all night. I tried to, like, do some reading last night, but I was just like, I'm just tired of, like, put in the effort to read, so I was watching some YouTube videos, then, like, back on Netflix. I'm pretty much gonna finish Army Wives, like, it's very soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like towards the end of season six and there's only one more season. Um, my mom, as I mentioned in the video, it's kind of weird. So here in New Jersey, we are downsizing, but in Florida, we're upgrading. I think that's the terminology you use. I don't think upsizing is a thing or like a correct word or term. But we're getting a bigger place in Florida than a smaller place here. But now, because I did a whole video on this, y'all saw I was upset and I still am. And I think, see, I don't, like the unknown and not being in control is like killing me right now. And um, if I kind of, like in Florida, the thing with Florida is... I know where I'm moving to, like, I know everything. I just don't like any of it is all, like, I hate it as a matter of fact. But at least I know, and I'm not, like, in the dark. I feel like here, I'm in the dark. And it's not necessarily because people are keeping me in the dark and out of the loop. It's just, with the way things are gonna go, there's, uns I don't say like uncertainty. I guess, like, it here's the thing, right? My mom doesn't want to buy. She wants to rent. So we're not like tied down. So if we needed to go somewhere, we could go somewhere. Um, and with rentals, like, you just never know when one's gonna pop up on the market and how long it's gonna be there. Like, they kinda come quick and you gotta just get what you can, I guess. Um, so I don't know, we're trying to like reevaluate this whole like living situation here in New Jersey. And now the new piece to this puzzle is my brother, you know, his family, they've wanted to move into a bigger place and either rent or buy whatever was, you know, more affordable for them. They have pretty much exhausted all their searches in New Jersey and now they're thinking of moving outside of New Jersey. And the thought of being away from my brother is very upsetting to me. So now I'm just like, I want to go where he goes, but obviously wherever my mom is, like, and the downstairs is almost finished. Probably just like a few little paint jobs, like things here or there. But I was actually like in the new space, if you will. And I got kind of like sad because I'm like, when I was little, maybe like in middle school, I used to envision like what used to be the muffin room, what that would look like if it was like my bedroom slash like living area. And like it became like, my apartment per se and now it's finally in perfect condition to be a bedroom and a living area and I'm just like what I would give to like move all my stuff and like move down there and like because my it's funny for as long as I can remember my goal was to be like one of my neighbors she I don't she I guess you could say has a special need I don't know what um Oh, geez, my battery is flashing. But, like, she's a grown adult. She's older than me. Um, but she lives at home, but yet, like, she has a job and she can drive. And, like, she's a fully functioning human being in society and, and, and is independent, but yet still lives at home. And, like, that was always my goal ever since I was little was to, like, still live with my mom, but yet be completely independent and not rely on her at all. We're just more like roommates. And that is a goal we're working on. But now that I'm like older now, I kind of like the idea of having my own space but still living on the same land as her, the same property. And there are places like that in Florida, but they are rather pricey and we can't afford them. And then when you look out in Utah, like there's houses of little casitas. And I'm like, I want my little casita or I want my little like 
cabana house. Like, you know what I mean? It's like I have all my own dreams, wishes, and desires, and trying to figure that all out has been very, very stressful. In other news, my friend got engaged this weekend, and I'm like, finally, I've been waiting for this moment. I've been keeping it a secret, um, and I'm hoping that she and her boyfriend, now fiance, will be home tonight or this week because I'm going away. Uh, I don't know. If I, I don't I don't know I don't know but anyways I'd I'd like to see her soonish because um, I already have a present for her. the minute I found out that he was gonna ask for the father's blessing the hand in marriage I went online and I ordered something and now I want to get her like some wedding magazines and be like here you go so um, I don't think I ever showed it in a video um, it's over over yonder behind this wall here it's a wedding planner binder thingy because i'm thinking what planning a wedding can be stressful this could help you organize your thoughts and ideas um and then like some magazines to give you thoughts and ideas if you don't already have any because i don't know if she's ever planned anything in her head like in my head my wedding day started in the fourth grade and since then it's changed a lot over the years my my husband's have changed venues everything uh, <laughs> so what I want today is not what I wanted when, when I was uh, like 10 years old 11 years old but you know I mean some girls do that kind of stuff my mom never did fantasize about a wedding or being married um she wanted to be a flight attendant but instead she got married and that mean my brother although my brother came first anyways so there's a lot of things going on that are stressful but I am very happy for my friend <laughs> I'm excited <laughs> so um yeah I need to get ready because uh, I gotta go soon anyway and my battery's flash <laughs> but I just wanted to say like there's an op I don't even know what's going on and it's stressing me out and I'm sharing that with you guys that but my mom assured me whatever happens wherever we go I can always fly back and, and be here for her my friend's wedding and, and any and all whatever is important that still is here um but there is like serious talk of stuff and to the point where it's like we're actually gonna look into something like fly r take a road trip and just explore s a spot to live um and it's a, it's a little scary going like start going somewhere new and like starting from scratch but it also could be very promising um because i have spoken with people that live in this state not this state but this state that uh i'm not mentioning <laughs> And, the, and they really like it and they kept telling me like you should move here blah 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 and I was just like mm -mm, Florida's where it's at y'all but you never know there could be something else in, in the in-between stages I already know where I want to like ultimately end up and hopefully like I'd have be on my own with a roommate or a partner of sorts a lover a fiance a husband a boyfriend I don't know someone a companion I don't know or just a platonic roommate who I'm friends with hopefully <laughs> I don't think you want to live with someone you didn't get along with but um like I already have like the town picked out and everything I, I don't have like the neighborhood but I do have the town and the state and everything that I think would be perfect for me down the road but right now I still want to like go where my mom is and, and be near her if not under the same roo roof then near her because she's thinking maybe it's time I get my own place which um she was thinking if we stayed here maybe that's what I should do because there is an opportunity for me to do that but the only f current facility that would be a possible option I'm not crazy about but I also probably shouldn't shoot that idea down completely it wouldn't hurt to revisit it and ask a lot of questions. Um, 
and get more information because it's been a while since they've tried to recruit me to live there because they really like me. I used to go there um, for a day program thing twice a week and it's a, re it's residence, it's a residency. Um, and it is nice, but I don't know, stuff to think about, I guess. And I just wanted to update y'all on my life and that there's all this stuff going on, known and unknown, and I'm not a fan of any of it, really. I am a fan and I totally approve of. And I keep going like this because she lives over there, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> She's also my neighbor. Um, so, and her family... They're like my family, and the thought of not having them in my backyard anymore does upset me. But if she does get married and they do move, then I don't know how long her parents would stay in that house. Unless she, pl I thought she I remember when we were little, she was like, I never want to move out of my house. I'm going to get married and I'm going to live there. And I think that's what she's trying to do, but I don't know what's going to happen. No one can predict the future. It just sucks. I wish someone could just like lay it all out on a piece of paper and be like, this is what's going to happen and this is when and where and how and, 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 and what and the whys and everything. And I'll be like, oh, okay, good. It's, it's all good now, right? But... Uh, no, it's all these like up in the air unknown things that uh, So Anyways, I'm gonna go now um, And I gotta get back to some people who are looking for me earlier um, And see what's up So if you have any comments questions suggestions feel free to leave those down below and when you're down there Don't forget to check the description box you can find me on social media. I'm pretty much everywhere. Come and say hey. I like to chat with y'all. Um, and don't forget to like this video. It lets me know that you enjoy my little life updates. And if you haven't subscribed already and you'd love to, feel free to click on my face. And if you want to watch something else, go ahead and do so. And thank you guys so, so much for being here and for watching. And all your love and support. And as always, till next time, keep it quirky.